to you. Thank you for coming this morning. It is awesome to see you guys. It's a sunny morning, and here we are in church together. What a cool place to be. Now, I have something in my hand. Perhaps you can guess what it is. What is this? Looks like a pie. Oh, that's a pretty good guess. This is actually a piece of bread, and I grabbed it from our communion supply. This is bread we use for communion. But right now, it is just a piece of bread. Why do you suppose I grabbed this? Any ideas why we've got bread here at church? What do you think? Well, I gave you a hint. We'll be using it later for communion, but there's another reason. We've been hearing Jesus teach in the gospel reading, and he says, I am the... What? I am the bread. I am the bread of life, Jesus says. Now, that's kind of a strange thing to say. You don't go around usually to your friends or your parents or siblings saying, I am bread. But Jesus said, I am not just bread, but the bread of life. And so he is the bread of life. So in communion, we receive God in the bread. Jesus comes in his body. And when you are older, at Bethel, it's at fifth grade, you will learn more about what this means and receive bread in communion. But I want you to know right now that you have Jesus as your bread already. You have Jesus who has come to take your sins away. He is your bread of life, which means a pretty special thing. It means that you will always have life with Jesus. You will always have life. He gives you eternal life. And so he's come as your bread. I want you to remember this. Jesus loves you. He cares for you today and always. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks that you have come as our bread of life. I pray that you remind these, your children, of this today and always. Bless their families in this promise that you have come to give new life, to take away sin, and to give us your peace. Bless these children in this promise. Amen. You can go back and sit with your families. Thank you for coming up this morning.